28 years ago, my parents went on a sailing trip around the Caribbean. My dad was a passionate sailor and one of his biggest dreams was to sail around the world one day. This year, he would have turned 70 years old. To celebrate him and the special memory my mom holds of their adventure 28 years ago, my mom, sister and I headed back to the Caribbean to recreate their trip. We started our trip by flying into Grenada where we stayed at Grand Anse Beach. Before heading on our sailing adventure, it was time to prepare. We had to stock up on food and supplies. After all, we didn't know what to expect and when we would be able to set foot into a grocery store again. Hello. Onions? Was ist mit so cauliflower or something? We have fish. The next day we were all stocked up and ready to get on the beautiful catamaran. But before we start this journey, let me introduce the crew to you. First of all, there's our mom, who's the one that came up with the idea for this trip. Hello, my name is Sabine. I'm Janine's mother. It's not my first time here. 28 years ago, I made a sailing trip with my husband. We started in Martinique, going down to Tobago Keys. And it was so amazing and we had such a great time. I'm so happy to be here. And I don't know how to say it, but during that time and that years, I have lots of experience on the boat. I love to drink pina colada. It's my favorite here. Looks like Sabine won't be much help when it comes to actual sailing. Maybe this young lady here can help. I'm really hot, aren't I? Jesus, bloody Christ. Hi, I'm Julia. I'm Janine's sister and I am so excited to be on this trip. I don't have much sailing experience and being on a boat with uh, my mom and my sister is going to be really nice. It's going to bring us hopefully closer together. So that should be fun. Not much sailing experience either, huh? Well. Then there's also me. I have a little bit of sailing experience. When I was around 15 years old, I used to do a little bit of sailing and I would sail these little boats, lasers. That was now more than 10 years ago, so it's a long time and I haven't sailed since. I'm a little bit worried about the ocean being too rough and there potentially being like sketchy situations. So I really hope everything goes smooth. As you can tell, probably none of us will be able to sail the boat, which is why we have our skipper. Dexter. Yeah, you're speaking with Captain Dexter Kid. Where are you from? From Beckway. How long have you been sailing for? 22 years now. Once we got on board, Dexter explained possible route options to us, and together we decided on a rough plan for the next couple of days. Put snorkeling and tarp rolls and everything. Yeah. What do you think? Because it's five hours to go to Karoko. Yeah. 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 I'm wondering if that guy you had for us on the dark side is all for me, I think. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me check them on and make sure it's up to you. Yeah. So, but it's impossible for today to go to Kirikov? No, we could put it. Depending on how fast you guys move around. Yeah. I think we'd prefer to get everything done and then go, if it's possible, to go here today. Yeah, I, I couldn't I can go with it. Yeah. Matter. We left the harbor and set sail. On the first yeah. day, we would be sailing for yeah. five hours to the island of Kirikov. Dexter already warned us, it will probably get pretty bumpy once we leave the protection of Grenada. And he was right. The first part was smooth sailing, but then it got bumpy really quick. I started to feel super nauseous. The first day and I was already seasick, definitely not a promising outlook for the rest of the trip. After a couple of hours of me feeling pretty bad, we finally made it to our first stop, Caracal. 
Caracao is a Carib word meaning island surrounded by reefs. Sounds sketchy, but Dexter did a great job getting us anchored in Tyrol Bay for the night, all safe and sound. Leaving Grenada and entering St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we had to stop at Union Island for customs. I was very happy about this since the town of Clifton on Union Island is beautiful to stroll through. Lots of cute little colorful houses and fruit shops. We spent the night in Chatham Bay, also on Union Island, where we went snorkeling. Unfortunately, the water wasn't very clear and we did not spot any fish. sailed over to Salt Whistle Bay and it was like about, I don't know how long was it, like 40 minutes? No motor, just sailing, motor was off and then we sailed and we sailed at like, it was tw around 20 knots and we, our speed was like 7 or 8 knots most of the time. Uh, he just basically like made me his little first officer and then I have to like put up the sail and he like tells me like what direction I should aim at and stuff but it's like fairly straightforward I mean you just have to hold the wheel and he does most of this the work but I know how to like operate the anchor and he taught me how to do all that so it was a little bit bumpy but I don't feel it you guys were downstairs you felt it more well the microwave went flying now yeah <laughs> it was good it was fun and now we're in paradise The next morning we had to decide on the route for the next couple of days. We were considering sailing all the way to Backway. You want to go back way? <laughs> Dexter's home, which would be a five hour trip at least. Or alternatively, we could sail to the Tobago Keys, which was only 20 minutes from Salt Whistle Bay. Luckily, we opted for the latter. The Tobago Keys are a nature reserve and it topped everything we had seen so far. I'm so happy to be here now, but it's absolutely crazy to see how many, how busy it is now because when I've been here 28 years ago, I think there were just four or five boats, that's it, and now it's completely filled up the bay. I'm just putting on some sunscreen now because we're gonna go snorkeling. Apparently there's lots of turtles here and the water is insanely clear. It's so so beautiful. So hopefully we'll see some some fishies and some turtles. But it's so so beautiful. It's really nice. It's honestly the I think this is the clearest water we've seen on this trip so far. Leaving this paradise that is the Tobago Keys really wasn't easy, but it was time to head back to Grenada to return the catamaran.
is the longest passage on the boat. I feel so sick right now. Is it too bumpy for you, Mama? No. After a very bumpy ride, I was relieved when we stopped at Sandy Island, a tiny island on the way back to Grenada where we went swimming and snorkeling. We made it back to Grenada and right now we're in front of the Grenada Underwater Sculpture Park where apparently there's a bunch of sculptures underwater, like the name suggests. Um, so we're gonna try, usually it's more of like a diving destination, um, but we're gonna try and see the sculptures just by snorkeling. Julia and I tried snorkeling around the underwater statues but then when we saw a statue we actually got scared and we had to abandon our mission because it was really creepy like you're just snorkeling around and suddenly there's like this it looks like a person standing on the ground and we're like ah -ha! so we jumped back on the dinghy and um, just hung our head over the over the dinghy to see the statue but I'm happy I didn't snorkel because it was kind of creepy In the evening, we arrived back in Grenada just in time for sunset. Sitting there watching the sky turn orange, I was reflecting back on the trip. All the beautiful islands we visited, the incredibly friendly locals, the breathtaking nature and the wonderful underwater worlds. All these things were great, but for me the most amazing part of the sailing trip was spending time with my family. Since we all live in different countries, spending time together like this has become more and more rare. These days of laughter, adventures, and family time are the greatest treasure. I think our dad would have been really happy to see us all together like this. Recreating a trip that was so special to him brought back so many memories and in a way, doing these things that he loved so much keeps his spirit alive.